If you're here, it's probably because you've seen some videos with this kind of animations, and you found out that these videos were made with a library called Manim. I've been using Manim since 2019, and I was the one who designed the banner of the official repository. So, with the experience I've gained, I'm going to give you some tips that will help you a lot if you are interested in learning Manim. The first thing you should know is that, unlike software like After Effects, which have a graphical interface, to use Manim you have to program in a text file, as you are seeing it on screen. To be able to use Manim correctly, you must have the following skills. 1. To know how to use the command line, that is to say, this screen that surely you have seen in movies. 2. Know how to program in Python, and have knowledge of object-oriented programming. 3. And most importantly, have knowledge of basic mathematics, at least at high school level. Although it may not seem like it, this has certain advantages, since, unlike programs with a graphical interface, you can use Manim in computers with low resources. In addition, you can use the advantages of programming to make very complex animations with few lines of code. Let's take a look at some of the things Manim shines at. 1. Animating Formulas Manim is the best tool for formula manipulation, as long as you follow a correct methodology. Two, geometric constructions. In Manim, you can draw almost anything through mathematical formulas, and thanks to the benefits of programming, you can do very complex things with little code. Check out my video of Manim vs After Effects to get a clearer idea. 3. Algorithm Representation Since Manim is built entirely programmatically, creating the visualization of algorithms is very natural in Manim. However, although Manim is a great tool, there are some things that are not recommended or merely impossible to do with Manim, so keep this in mind. 1. Complex 3D Animations If you want to make more complex animations, it is best to use other software. I would recommend you to use Blender, like Manim, it is a free software, very powerful, in which you can also create figures and animations with Python. 2. Animations with circuits While it is true that there are some ways to draw circuits in Manim, the reality is that you can't do much more, or at least not in a simple way. If you are interested in showing animations with circuits, I would recommend you to use CircuitJS, it can be used online or offline. If you need something more advanced, you can use every circuit, but it is paid, but quite cheap and very good. 3. Complex Chemical Models There is a fork of Manim called Chanim, which allows you to show chemical formulas in a simpler way. However, to show molecular or atomic models, it is not a good idea to use Manim, especially if they are three-dimensional models. 4. Complex Physical Simulations in Manim, you can do relatively simple physical simulations, such as pendulums, some dynamic systems, and there is even a plugin called Manim Physics that allows you to add collisions, but for more complex things you will have to use more sophisticated software. Keep in mind that Manim is intended to be demonstrative, it is not intended to be a software for research purposes. I say this because I have met people who want to do everything with Manim, and this is not healthy, you must use the right tool for each problem. Having said that, 
If you are still interested in learning Manim here I will show you the steps to follow. I will leave YouTube tutorials on each topic for you to learn on your own. 1. Learn how to use the command line. These are the topics, it will take you about 3 to 4 days to learn this. 2. Programming basics, with Python if you have never programmed before. If you already have some programming knowledge, you may be able to skip some or all of these topics. If you have never programmed, it will take you about 3 to 4 weeks to learn this. 3. Object-Oriented Programming with Python This is the most important part. Most people who start in Manim have problems because they have no knowledge of object-oriented programming. The next thing you need to learn is a little bit about the versions of Manim, as there are several and you can get confused. Check this video to learn more about the different versions of Manim. Now that you know what the different versions of Manim are, you will have to decide which version to use. The best version for beginners is Manim CE, as it is the most stable and has the best documentation. The best Manim CE course can be found here. There are two courses, the basic level and the intermediate level. You can buy both courses for $50. They include more than 40 exercises in total along with their solution. Here you will learn Madam C in the most efficient and clearest way possible. You have 30 days guarantee, so, in case you don't like the courses, you can get your money back. Both courses are a one-time fee and you can view the preview classes to see the quality of the course. If you are not willing to buy these courses, you can also learn from the documentation or from tutorials that other people have made. You can also join the Discord and Reddit server to see community projects and ask questions. Remember to check the rules and how to ask questions section to make it easier for the community to help you. You can also contact me in case you want private lessons or if you need commissions, all the information will be in the video description. And that's all for today's video, see you in the next line of code.